welcome guys uh back to another tutorial just got a mail this morning and i see that a viewer is having some problem basically if i open this mail Briar has a problem he says that when i go to install microsoft.net the dop var will fill but the install won't and after about waiting for five minutes it says installation failed well Briar, i surfed google and guess what i I have hit up on a solution which I believe should work for you. Let's check whether it works and I will just show you about the steps. So just go to start, go to your control panel, scroll down until you reach programs and features, go there and you will have this turn windows feature on and off. So just uh, go and click this. I guess it's already ticked open. So this should come up. I'll just show it again. Just click this and turns Windows features on and off, along with the list listed features will come on screen. So out of this list, you can see that you have this Microsoft.NET framework, and uh, it's pretty much you need to you know click both of this, select expand Microsoft.NET Network Framework 3.5.1 and tick on windows communication foundation windows communication foundation on http so do this and also do it for xps viewer and xps services so i will repeat the steps and just once you have done all this just click on ok and the windows might make uh, take a few time to get this thing done i mean it takes a few minutes I will just pause the video until this happens for I don't want to bore you audience there you go it's almost done now maybe a couple of seconds more I guess it took around one minute I am on an i7 16 GB RAM don't know whether that helps for getting these things done fast meantime that it happens I'll just explain what all we did uh, we had this problem of uh, we were commenting that he is unable to install .NET framework 3.5 and uh, pretty much confused on how what to do to get this rectified uh, often it happens because your registry settings may be invalid corrupted or like one of the most common reasons which I understood after surfing on net was that when you go to your control panel and inside windows feature the dotnet framework options might not have been switched on and that's what we are doing guys this is taking some time i'm sorry i will just pause the video and I'll get back when it gets done with so there you go it's been done and everything but for me it's important that i synopsize again pretty well how to do it so brad i'll just repeat the steps which i did mate so you simply need to go to your start thing you need to go to your control panel you need to go down until you can find your programs and features either go from here or you can simply click here until you go to programs and features like here and on the left hand side you can see turn windows features on or off basically it means which features of windows do you want to turn on or off and we have this windows feature dotnet framework which we want to turn on so just click on turn windows feature on or off all the various windows features are listed in front of you this microsoft.net framework which is 3.5.1 and maybe the same for your case or depending on your version may be different so it's very important that this tick is there but this tick won't be there until you expand microsoft.net framework and click or rather check all the boxes which comes enclosed so just check on that and automatically this will get assigned to the tick mark also do the same for xps services and xps we are just ensure that you have this boxes checked so Pretty much checking Microsoft.NET Framework itself will help you. So I think that should sort your problem out. And now when you try and install .NET Framework, I think it should happen like cheesecake. <laughs> so just hope that helps, mate. And do reward whether it works or not. I will be very interested to know whether it has worked for you. And if it did, cheers. Have a great day. Have great fun installing the game engine. And hope to look making exciting games with you, mate. So thank you, guys. Thank you for stepping by on the important tutorial this and do stay subscribed do keep posting it i'll make it a point that i reply to all comments and posts thank you so much for watching my tutorial and thanks for stepping by thank you